Hi there, and welcome to another video of Made with Cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be giving you a tutorial with the map range up inside of cables. So without further ado, let's get started. The map range up allows you to remap one range of numbers into another one. Now what does that mean? Well, it's easier to explain if I'm just going to show it to you. So first of all, I'm going to make this a little bit easier to visualize. So I'm going to grab a basic material, I'm going to make the color white, and I want to make a grid on the background. So I pull this out, and I grab a grid. Number 10, spacing 0 0.5. I'm now going to grab a mat cap material. And I'm going to add two cubes. So I'm going to grab a transform so I can move the cube. And then I'm going to add the cube. And now I'm going to put the size on 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0 0.5. And I'm now going to copy this and paste it. Control C, Control V. And let's share the material. Zoom out of touch. So this cube, I'm going to move up. Now this cube, I'm going to use to show the original value coming in. And the bottom cube, I'm going to use to show the map range effect. So I can now move this cube like this. So I'm going to create a kind of loop. I'm going to make a timer. And now I'm going to create a modulo up. And I'm going to put this on 1. And as you can now see, we get a value going from 0 to 1. It's a little bit fast, so I'm going to put it on 0 0.5. And now I'm just going to plug this into position X here. And now I'm also going to plug it into position X here. So we can see they're going together. So right now, I'm just going to add the map range up here. <clears throat> map a value from one range to another. So I add that. And as you can see, something's already happened. So we look at the old minimum and the old maximum value. We know that's between 0 and 1. And I'm just going to put the new min and the new max also on 0 to 1. So it's just like the way it was before. So this will allow me to remap this range of numbers here, minimum, maximum, the old one, into a new one. So I can now put this on minus 1. And as you can see, they loop um, together, but now we've remapped the number range. It's really nice and simple. I could put it on minus 1 to 0, and then we get something like this. I could put it on minus 0 0.5 to 0 0.5. So this is quite self-explanatory. Another thing that isn't very obvious but really handy is you can use the map range up to just flip the value. So now I can say 1 to minus 1, and now we've got it going in reverse. So far, so good. So a really cool trick with the map range up here is that we can ignore values outside of the old min and the old max, basically. So now I could say, old min 0, old max 0 0.5. And don't forget, we're looping from 0 to 1. Now what happens is, we're ignoring everything after 0 0.5, basically. So this is a really great way to just animate something in between a certain range with a number. So I could also put this on 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. And as you can see, it's now only going to map this number range to this when it's in between there. This is a really, really handy trick. So I'm going to just show this in a, in, a, in a way that might make a little bit more sense. Sorry, so 0 to 1, we're going to put it on minus 1 to 1. So we're back here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy the map range up two times. And let me just show you what's going to happen here. I'm going to plug this in there. And we say old min, old max, 0 to 1. And I want to rotate the cube 90 degrees on the x-axis. So I'm going to plug this in here. And as you can see, it now does this. But I only want it to happen for the first half here. So I'm now going to say old min 0, old max 0 0.5. And as you can see, I've now defined the range in when that animation change should occur. And the best part is, I can plug this in here now. And I can say, OK, now I want this one to start at 0 0.5 and end at 1. And I also want to do 0 to 90. And this one I'm now just going to plug into Rotate Y. And as you can see, we're now using this map range to go from 0 to 0 0.5 to rotate 90 degrees on X. So we've defined this range between 0 and 1. And now we go here and we say 0 0.5 to 1. And now we're um, rotating the Y axis. Now. Just to show you another little thing that we can do here, for example, um, the map range is also really good when you use it with the ease up. So 
if I go to ease and I say, okay, new min is minus one, max, so it's minus one to one. So I go ease, minimum is minus one, max is one. So we can pick an easing mode now. So now I can pick something like smoother step and watch what happens. We get this nice easing mode, which is now applied. I can go here, I can put it on quint in and out. So when you combine the ease up with the map range up, you can start to create some really controlled animation styles. So I'm going to grab the ease up, minimum was zero, maximum was 90. And now I'm going to put this on um, cubic in out. And as you can see, we can now create our own easing uh, method for each part of the animation. And I just wanted to show this because um, these two ops get used together um, a lot. So now I could pick a different one, smoother step, and then I get a different kind of reaction. So map range is your friend when you want to remap one existing number range into another. And it's also really handy to grab a part of a range that's incoming and to only do something when a number is between that range. I hope this video has been educational and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.